disjointed, abrasive, confrontational, overpowering. Noise surrounds our lives, bombastic screams that constantly attack us from every street, every room, every space we inhabit. It pollutes the air with physical movement. Even when we think we've gotten away, the sunken vibrations pulsate in the ground, ringing through all of our free cavities and spaces. It's beautiful. This sensory overload, a constant ringing in our ears reminding us that we are still alive, a reminder so violent, even if you can't hear it, you'll still feel it. It keeps us on our toes, moving from here to there, trying to get away from it. It gives us a quick sense of purpose and tiny moments of peace when we finally caught our breaths and thought we have escaped. But then, listen. It's always there. Turn the volume up. Feel its power. Feel it sink you down into its cavernous mouth until you feel small, insignificant. Then, build yourself back up. Challenge it. Grab it as hard as you can and throw it around. Harness the chaos, the serenity, the mundanity, and paint it on a wall. Paint it on a crowd. Paint it through two 34-watt speakers and 12-watt subwoofers and don't stop until it piles up into a gigantic pillar, a mountain of disjointed, abrasive, overpowering, confrontational, and beautiful.